When I was only seven or eight years old, I had joined my mother's business. I would help her to sell her groundnuts and travel to another village to buy what she needed for her petty trading. As a boy, I couldn't remember ever complaining about anything that had to do with helping my mother in her small business. Between ages 10 to 14, my friends and I in our little town got involved with various businesses which I don't even know the right words to get you to understand them. At age 15, I started my first major business which was a bicycle renting service. Such things may not be in your country but here is how it worked. I bought a bicycle and other kids who don't have a bicycle came to me every evening to pay me and ride my bicycle. At age 16, I started a photography business and on and on like that. I've always done, read, talked or invested in the business. Why do I have to bother you with this epistle of my personal life? Well, I intend to show you that entrepreneurship is natural to some of us and I don't want you to get me wrong here. I don't mean to say that if you don't do business as a child, that you're not wired to be an entrepreneur. Instead, I mean, not everyone is wired to be an entrepreneur. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five signs that show that you are not wired to be an entrepreneur. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Do you hate to kick against the crowd? Social proof is a term the psychologists use to describe the human tendency to do what everyone else is doing. Now, this is how you know if you can never become an entrepreneur. Sit back and look at your life. Was there ever any time you did what most people don't do or consider normal? If you care too much about what other people do, then you probably cannot be an entrepreneur because entrepreneurs are like rebels. Yes, you heard me right. Entrepreneurs are like rebels who go against what everyone thinks are normal. Take for instance, when Steve Jobs was starting Apple in 1975, he must have been a very stupid human being to have ever imagined that he had a chance to succeed. He was a teenager who didn't even have money, yet he wanted to compete with one of the most powerful companies in the world, IBM. Only a rebel could even dream that, but that was what Steve dreamed. In the year 1994, at only age 29, Jeff Bezos was doing well in the corporate world. He had a nice job and a nice salary as the vice president of the DE Shore, but he decided to quit his job to start a business on the internet. What is the internet? Well, in the year 1994, the internet was nothing. Nobody knew what it was going to become and it could as well have become nothing. Don't forget that now and then, there is always a new invention that comes up and everyone gets crazy about it and within a few years, most of those inventions simply vanish into the air. So how can any 29-year-old who is the vice president of a company thinks that he should resign to pursue the dream on the internet? Such a man is not normal. He's a rebel and that's what it takes to be an entrepreneur. If you're a normal human being who does what everyone does, you probably should not dream of becoming an entrepreneur because entrepreneurship is about going where no one thinks there's a road. Aren't you proud or rude? Steve Jobs said those who are crazy enough to believe they could change the world are the ones who eventually do it. It's crazy to think that you can change the world and that is exactly what entrepreneurship is all about. Now, because your job as an entrepreneur will most likely be about daring things that are bigger than you, you can only do such a job if you're proud or sometimes rude. Tell me any entrepreneur who isn't so proud that he sometimes gets rude and I'll tell you that such a man was never an entrepreneur. In my case, even though I was born by poor parents and didn't finish school, at age 21, I announced to my brother that I would rather die than to work for another man for 30 years. Even though I didn't have $100 to my name at age 21, I talked with everyone as though I was a millionaire. If you can open your dictionary to read the meaning of being rude, that was me at age 21 and that is what entrepreneurship is all about. People who build companies from nowhere are often people who see beyond what everyone thinks they are. These people are like David who don't see Goliath as a threat. You can't become an entrepreneur except you have a very healthy self-esteem. Most people in the world have low self-esteem. They don't believe in themselves, instead they complain about everything. 
The good news is that our team has just opened a new YouTube channel which was designed to give you inspirational videos like three or four times every week. These videos are going to inspire you with the stories of ordinary people who became successful and this will help you to believe more in yourself. We call this Hunt TV and you can join other smart people like you who have already joined Hunt TV in the description box. Are you angry about anything enough to want to die for it? Most people want to be entrepreneurs because they want to become millionaires. Well, successful entrepreneurs are activists who want to change. Yes, these people don't talk against the government or lead a protest like Martin Luther. They secretly work to fight a cause. In my case, I hate our present school system so much that I can die to get it right. I mean, why should we be teaching our kids how to live in the 20th century when none of us can go back to even yesterday? Because I was angry about the fact that there are many important things school doesn't teach children, I started a club in the year 2007. I later started a blog and that blog led to a company and then this channel. Do I make money from all these ventures? Yes, we do make money now but that was a miracle because when we got started in September 2007, I never dreamed for a minute that we can make money fighting a cause we believe in. So what is my point here? If you're not angry enough about anything to want to change it, you can't be an entrepreneur. Do you complain about everything? I talked in the last point about being angry about something and some people would have thought, well, I'm angry about a lot of things in my country and that's why I complain about them. Well, complaining is another sign that you're not wired to be an entrepreneur. I don't know any entrepreneur who just complains. You have to stand up and figure out how to solve some of the problems you're complaining about because that's how to be rich. Some people think that what they are angry about is bigger than what they can find a solution to. That's fine because there are so many problems in the world. Your duty as an entrepreneur is to look for the problem that fits into what you have the strength to tackle and get busy tackling such. If you're busy solving a problem by building a business around such, you'll have only a little time left to complain or make excuses. Are you a perfectionist or a procrastinator? I've never started anything perfectly nor do I even try to start perfectly. I've never waited for enough capital, enough of ideas or enough of anything. Whenever I decide to do something, I always ask myself, what is the first important step here? Often, if you dare to take the first important step, the second step and the third will follow and as you go on taking one step at a time, you start to have more insight, ideas and support you need. This is how entrepreneurs think. However, for most people in the world, the opposite is the case. I have friends who have been planning to start a business for over a decade. Up till this morning, they are still looking for enough capital. Well, when I started 11 years ago, I didn't have the capital also but because I dared to take the first step, fail, try again and again, I eventually got my breakthrough. Here is a summary of the whole matter. Entrepreneurs are not conformist. They are procrastinators. They are not conformist. They are not procrastinators and they don't make excuses. Entrepreneurs are angry about something and they are willing to sacrifice everything to solve problems. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you probably want to be a rebel because our society is the direct opposite of what an entrepreneur should be. Now, if you truly want to be an entrepreneur, aka rebel, you'll need a lot of motivation to fight such a tough battle and that's why you need to join our motivational channel. We call it Hunt TV because we want you to hunt your dream. Look at the description box to join the Hunt TV Daily Inspiration. We love you.